Hello everybody. Hey, hi, it's Holly. Thank you for joining me on Smile by Holly. I'm so excited to have you here and excited to show you what we are going to be making today. And this is just a cute little mini tag album. You know, I think this would be so cute to go along with the gift so that when somebody was looking for a cute little tag, ba-boom. <laughs> so simple, so easy. You know, you could add cute little notes on the back, uh, little thoughts. Oh, just so cute. In fact, I think if you had like a thought book and then you had a thought on the back of e these, like, you know, have a wonderful day or thinking of you, wouldn't that be so cute, like thought for the day? Now I have figured out the size for the tags to be uh, two by four because this is, the size, when you happen to buy Doodlebug products, you can actually buy the pre-made tags. And this is one of my favorite things they have in their collection are the tags. Because, okay, well look, first of all, that the, these tags are so stinking cute. I mean, I love Doodlebug anyway, but it just doesn't get cuter than this. And you cut these out and then you would just punch a hole in them. But look at the backs. Oh my goodness, okay. The bag is just as cute as ever. And that's why I thought, um, you know, to add a cute little thought or a thought for the day on the back of these tags would just be ideal. So I've kind of formulated this album to fit these doodlebug tags, you know, if you happen to find them. However, tags are so simple that I've also will show you just how to take you know, regular cardstock and make it into your own tag. And you know, sometimes when you do your own, you know, from start to finish, it's just that much more special. But today, once again, we're working with the Doodlebug collection, but I will show you how, you know, just to do your own tag that this is the exact same size. So you, in case you don't have, you know, these pre-made tags, but can I just tell you, <laughs> the pre-made tags make this album super simple and go by super quick, but look how cute that is. Um, just, I've just used just cute little bright, bright pastel colors. Is bright and pastel, can you put those in the same sentence? Maybe it's just pastel colors but so cute with different tags. Oh my goodness, isn't that so cute? And I just love, love, love how the back is also done on these. And then these tags are just, you know, tied together at the bottom. So basically you could make a month worth of tags, 30 cute little tags, you know, a tag for a day or, you know, a week's worth of tags. You know, hope you have a wonderful week with the cute thought on each of them. It's whatever. I'm making my mini album with eight tags today. So I think that's a cute size. I also think, and this just barely came to me, <laughs> but this would be cute to have like packaged in, you know, a cute little, I don't know, like container or box. Wouldn't that be cute to pull that out? Anyway, now my mind's going crazy and I'm like, oh, what could I do? Anyway, to start with though, we will just make this little tag booklet, tag little mini album. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you will want to do is you want to get your base cut. Now the base uh, for these is four and a half, okay, it's four and a half by four. And once again, I'm making eight of these, eight of these little tag holders. And so I've got my pieces already cut. So once you get that cut, four and a half by four, bring in your scoreboard. Okay, we've got our scoreboard here. And on the four and a half inch side, four and a half inch side, you want to score it at a fourth of an inch. And at two and three eighths. Okay, now flip your little card, your cardstock over to the four inch side, and you want to score this at three and a half. Okay, can you see that? Super simple. I am just going to go ahead, put this on fast forward, get all of mine scored, and I'll be right back. Okay, so everything is scored. And like I said, feel free to make as many as you would like. So now what we're going to do is we are going to make some cuts, and I hope you can see this. But there is a little teeny tiny box here, 
and a little teeny tiny box here. Now this is where that fourth of an inch score line is, okay? So let's start there and we wanna just cut out that little teeny, 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 tiny box. I'm gonna get my glasses on. So let's start here and you just wanna cut out that super teeny, tiny box. Ba-boom. Ba-boom, okay, do you see that? Now we are going to cut out this box over here. Okay, so that's what our paper looks like. Now I am going to just miter these corners on that fourth of an inch score line. I'm just going to miter the corner. It's just taking out a little tiny triangle on there. It will really helps to make this album fold a little bit better. So let's go ahead and fold and burnish on all of our lines. And this is basically the base for our little tag holder. Now I'm going to be using some wet glue today. Um, just any time with tags, I just think using wet glue is a little bit better. Now we're going to add some glue right here on this edge. Now this second part is not necessary, but I am going to just right here on the score line add a very, very thin layer of glue just so my tag does not pop out. And I'll show you uh, why. Let me grab an, one of these. I didn't do it on this one and you can kind of see the tag poking out at the bottom, which is fine. But I'm thinking for this one, I'm adding just a thin layer of glue right there. And I'm gonna fold this over, okay, and press down on it real good. Like I say, this little line of glue is not necessary, but I'm thinking it just might help. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so get that glue to hold. There is our little tag. And once again, I need to press this down at the bottom. There is our little tag. <laughs> and we're going to be punching some holes in here. Like I say, it does not get any simpler. These are my pre-made tags that I've already cut out, but we will go ahead and make some tags. But it's just the perfect size so that you see this, you know, pull out right there. Now, um, we're gonna set this aside. I'm gonna go ahead and glue all of mine and then I'll be back to show you what's next. So we have got everything all glued together. And so now we are going to add bases onto all of these. Now there's a couple different ways. You could make a base for the front. This is the base, I guess it's not a base, it's a mat. You could make a mat for the front and the back. I have just gone ahead and made it for the front. Um, but if you wanted to do front and back, then you'll need to, because we're making eight, you would wanna make 16. But once again, with this one, I think it's just fine. I only covered the front. So just know if you wanted it to be maybe more complete, do the front and the back. But the papers that you will want to cut for this, and this will mat it just perfectly, is a three and a fourth. So three and a fourth by one and seven eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and add all these cute little papers onto my... Uh, tag album and then we're going to come back once these are on the base we will then go ahead and punch our little punch out right here okay so there are our little tag holders and it's at this point now that we have the actual mat down on our base that you can go ahead and punch your little notch now, once again, there's a couple of different ways to do this. I punched my notch all the way through both layers, but you could certainly, if you wanted, just punch it through the front. I just thought because the back of these tags is just so cute, that that's why I punched it through both. But just know there's different ways to do this. So I'm gonna grab my circle punch. Now you want all these to line up, so I'm going to do the first one 
and then I'm going to kind of use it as my guide. So there's my first one and then I'm just going to go through and make a little pencil mark just because I kind of want it all to line up. I think it'll be better. So I'm just lining these up, making a little pencil mark. Not necessary. <laughs> I guess that's maybe where a little bit of my perfectionism comes in. It's like, oh, I want them all exact. So what's up with you guys today? I am curious as to what you guys are making. You know, it's so fun when people comment, well, I'm doing this or I'm doing this or, you know, it's just fun to hear what everyone's working on. So leave in the comments below, what are you working on today? I would just love to hear. Okay, so I've made my little mark. Now I'm gonna go through and punch this. And then this will help allow for it to be, you know, a little bit more exact. Uh, the paper that I'm using is also Doodlebug. So it kind of coordinates with the tags, but oh my gosh, the name of the game is use whatever you have. In fact, this is kind of interesting is when I was making the base, the white base, I just pulled out my, uh, my tote with all my white scraps and I was able to make everything with just scraps. I didn't have to use any, you know, full size papers. And so that makes me super happy. <laughs> Now that we've got that done, we can go ahead and punch our holes. Let me find my hole punch. And once again, I, you want all these to line up. So I'm going to do the first one and then we'll use this to kind of uh, use it as our, what, our sample or our template uh, to do the other ones, just so they all line up the same. Ba-boom, ba-boom. So I'm crafting without a Diet Coke today, and it is hard. <laughs> Can anybody relate? I'm so curious. I decided that I would, I wanted to try to drink a little bit more water, so I would allow, allow myself one Diet Coke. Now my one Diet Coke, granted, is a 64 ounce Diet Coke. <laughs> but I have been known to do probably three 64 ounce Diet Coke. So anyway, I'm trying really hard to drink more water and, but I think crafting is a little bit more difficult without my Diet Coke. Ah, so anyway, I'm gonna give it a week and see how I feel, see if it's even worth it. I don't even know, I don't even know. Everyone says if you drink more water, you'll feel better, so. I will let you know. <laughs> What's your drink of choice? Um, I think I've been, I guess I can actually say, hi, my name is Holly and I'm addicted to Diet Coke. I think that's fair to say. <laughs> Diet Coke Anonymous. Okay, so we've got all of that done. Now, let me just go ahead and show you. It's so simple, or give you the measurements for the size tag that I have for this. Once again, I formulated the album to actually work with these tags. I mean, it just simplified the whole thing. But if you don't have these tags, grab yourself a piece of paper that's two by four and go ahead and cut off a corner. Use that corner as your template so it's the same Put that up in here and then cut that off. You've got a tag and punch your hole. Okay, so simple, simple, simple. You could make these out of pattern paper. You could make them out of just regular cardstock and then decorate them. You could even decorate the outside of, you know, these little bases right here. Mine's already a little bit chunky, so I just went with this, but I've gone ahead, my tags are already cut out, I'm just gonna punch my holes. Look, I mean, these tags, I, I don't know, I even like the backside, I mean, red polka dot, that 
it, it, uh, anyway, I can't say enough about Doodlebug. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. I think it has something to do with the colors that they use. The colors just kind of speak to my heart. Doodlebug and Diet Coke. There you go. Look, I'm telling you a couple of my very favorite things. Okay, so we've got our tags done. Oh my goodness, that's my favorite for you. That's so cute. I still really like going back to the idea of having a thought for the day on here or the things I like about you. What about 10 things that I love about you and maybe writing that on the front of the album and then each little tag would have, you know, one of the things that you like, maybe for your, you know, your special person or, you know, your good friend. I just think that would be so dang cute. Okay, so we've got all of our albums and what I did is I just took some ribbon. Now I think that this album would be so cute with like um, twine. Wouldn't that be cute with twine? I didn't have any twine, so I'm just using ribbon. And to make it easier to stick this through all of these, I'm just doing it the fast way. I'm just adding a little bit of scotch tape on the end of my ribbon, just so I can poke it all through at once. <laughs> I don't know if that's being lazy, but by just doing this, we could cut the tape off at the end, but this way I can get the tape to go through all at once. So get all of my things lined up here. And I probably didn't need the tape, but anyway, watch how smooth that is. Ba-boom. <laughs> I'm all about fast and easy. You guys probably already know that by now, right? Now just know the tighter you tie this bow, you know, it doesn't leave for a lot of room. So I kind of like to leave it a little bit more loose, um, especially if you were going to put um, a little bit more chunky tags in there. But just know you tie it down tight and, um, it'll make the whole entire little mini album tighter. That makes sense, yeah. Okay, so tie this here. I need to cut off that tape, those ends of the tape. It's the tape trick, the tape trick. Okay, so there we go. And now I'm just going to add some ribbons onto all of my tags and fit them in. So super, super simple. Give me just one minute. I'm going to add ribbon to all my tags and I will be right back. The way that I'm tying my tags is I am just taking, oh, I, what is that? That is about, let's see, it's about, looks like eight inches. You know, you don't need to measure, just grab you about eight inches of ribbon, stick both ends through, and then pull that through. That makes just a cute little kind of notch. And then I like to do a knot to keep that notch from coming undone. Um, if you guys know of a different way, I would like to know if there's, you know, a better way. Now I kind of want all of my ribbons to be about even, so I'm just kind of guessing, but I may go through and even it out when we get done. Is that just so cute? Let's pop that one in, boom, boom. I just love how part of the tag sticks out so you can see the different paper and it all coordinates, which I love. Okay, so I'm gonna tie my little ribbons on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all of my little ribbons added. Look how cute that looks. I love all the different colors. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my little tags in. And they slide down and they're just perfect. This is just such a cute little holder for tags. Oh my goodness, can you imagine how fun this would be to do like a Christmas one? And then you could have a whole bunch of Christmas tags for somebody. Oh, I think that's that they could use. That's such a cute idea. Okay, so there are our two cute little adorable tag mini albums. Isn't that just a fun little gift? Anyway, I'm just going to add a cute little flower onto these. 
little embellishment. I, you know, I was having so much fun making these 3D flowers. Look how cute. It's a ginormous pop-up that I got on Amazon, but I love those because it makes it extra dimensional. And then I put some of that crystal accents or crystal lacquer. I'm not quite sure which one it is, but it gives it kind of a glossy look on the middle of that flower. So cute. So we're just gonna add a little 3D embellishment. I think sometimes just that little extra bump, right? Oh, so cute. Anyway, so what do you guys think? Fun, fun, fun. Thank you again for watching. It was great to have you here. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love, love, love to have you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So go out and have yourself a fun, crafty day, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.